we present optical flow with semantic segmentation and localized layers. What can we say about the motion of this scene? If we know there are two regions corresponding to water and a bird, then we know the object segmentation of the scene. We also know that the objects are capable of moving independently. For example, the bird will move independently from the water. We also know the depth ordering. In this case, the bird will be moving in front of the water. We also know the geometry of some of the objects. For example, the surface of the water will be roughly planar. Finally, we know the type of motion of some objects. For example, the bird will be moving non-rigidly. Traditional optical flow methods do not consider the content of the image. Instead, they use low-level cues like correspondences or edges and make generic, spatially homogeneous assumptions. Here, we show the flow estimation of the state-of-the-art method discrete flow. The direction of the motion is encoded by colour according to the wheel and the magnitude by saturation. As we can see, the motion is blurry and unsatisfactory, especially in motion boundaries and in untextured regions. For the same sequence, semantic optical flow produces better results. So how does it work? We start from a semantic segmentation of the scene, and we divide into regions according to their motion. These regions are stuff, planes, and things. Planes are regions that are roughly planar, like the road, the sky, or the water. We model these with a homography. Stuff are unknown regions, or regions that vary in geometry, and hence in motion, like buildings or vegetation. We model these with piecewise smooth flow. Things are regions that move independently, like cars, people, or horses. These regions contain occlusions, and two segments with two dominant motions. We model these with a two-layer model, and we call it localised layers. In particular, we jointly estimate the flow of the background, the foreground, the segmentation, and an explicit occlusion map. We combine these and obtain better results, especially at object boundaries. We test our method on Kitty 2015, where we obtain the top results of all monocular methods. This is particularly noticeable at boundaries, in regions with specular reflections, and on the roads. We also test our method on a wide variety of YouTube videos containing different objects. Here, we see a transition from discrete flow to semantic flow. We observe major improvements, especially at object boundaries and in untextured regions. Thank you.